Hi all, Hibber here. Uh, I don't know about you, but uh, I am slowly starting to feel uh, like I'm running out of stuff to grind in this game here. Um, really. Uh, we get new ships and we get new commanders and uh, I mean that's fine um, but I think it's time that we think about going a little bit deeper in the grind in this game here and uh, what I'm talking about is all the upgrades and modules we have but uh, they only exist in one version for example so I'll get into that later and uh, in this video I'll go through a few suggestions I have on how to make uh, the customizations in this game deeper and more varied and uh, basically in the end uh, come up with more uh, interesting and varied and uh, you know just exotic ship builds um, in the end. So of course that can be a mix of consumables, uh, upgrades, commanders, perks, inspirations, whatever. Like there's literally almost endless possibilities. So uh, the easiest thing um, Wargaming could do to expand upon the gameplay here and uh, like create more interesting builds and more exotic builds, uh, that is simply uh, just to add in another inspiration on the commanders. Uh, I know this has been up before and people have been talking about it and Wargaming is a bit hesitant and uh, yeah, I don't know if it's uh, actually the best idea, but it would be an easy way to uh, create more, uh, you know, like flexibility in the game uh, especially with all the commanders we have now it's a bit of a shame that you can only use two of them as an inspiration at a time I think so uh, this would solve the problem of more diverse builds uh, but it doesn't solve the problem of uh, like hardcore long-term players uh, like myself for example uh, kind of running out of stuff to grind for I know we were given steel uh, lately to grind and uh, as much as I like that I don't think really we can use steel for anything at all at least at least not uh, yet um, so as much as I welcome steel's entrance uh, I think it's underutilized I think Wargaming needs to look closer at games like Diablo, Borderlands and uh, pretty much any other game with an RPG flavor uh, and I think like uh, all the modules we have ac access to, including consumables and uh, ammunition, everything could come in different levels, uh, from like from basic to legendary, uh, pretty much like in uh, Diablo, basically. So uh, what I'm imagining is that instead of just having one heal, um, which is the same no matter what you do to the ship, uh, how about having different levels of heals? Uh, like going from like slightly better gray to better blue, even better green, very good red, and then legendary uh, yellow or orange, whatever you want to call it. Uh, just like uh, Borderlands, for example. Um, of course, the question is what to do to uh, actually upgrade these uh, consumables here. And of course, it doesn't just have to be consumables. It could be ship upgrades as well, and uh, even commanders, but uh, we'll go through that in more detail later. So what I mean is basically every consumable, uh, you start out with the standard version, which is at the zero at the top, which is what we have now, for example. And then you can improve it uh, to here, I said four levels, but probably more than that, five or six or whatever, uh, by doing stuff. And doing that stuff is like the question here. Um, is it, uh, should it be like, like a pay to win thing or should it be down to skill or should it just be a grind? Uh, and I am kind of uh, voting for the grind. So again, I consider these uh, like uh, upgrades here as something for the absolute hardcore players. I don't expect that the upgrades will be huge and I'll show that later. Uh, but for example here, uh, this is a way to up Grade your heal based on grinds or grinding, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so you, if you pay 1 million elite XP and you have 200 battles in your ship and you've sunk 200 ships, uh, you'll be able to upgrade to the, the gray version. And uh, that'll give you plus 0.1% uh, better heal. So uh, 
this way it keeps this from being a pay to win or giving people an unfair advantage but uh, like the improvement is big enough for you to notice so uh, if you grind through all five levels here for example which obviously is very very difficult and only the most dedicated players will do it uh, you will only end up with a heal that's half a percent better than what uh, like a completely newbie player has so it's better yes but it's not like it's going to break anything in the game we could even decide to expand on this and then make the final uh, upgrade the yellow one the legendary uh, upgrade uh, inf infinite basically so in other words every time you have 25 million elite xp you've sunk 5,000 ships and you have 10 million GXP and 10,000 steel, you'll be able to upgrade uh, the legendary skill once more. Meaning that instead of adding 0.1%, you'll be adding 0.2%. And <laughs> that way, the total, instead of 0.5%, uh, will then be 0.6%. And uh, of course, you'll be able to do that again and again and again. And uh, like, even if you do that 10 times, uh, you will still uh, not <laughs> be a lot more powerful than the standard player. But it gives a goal for, uh, for people who really enjoy the game and really want something to play for, um, which I think is lacking a little bit now. Uh, like I've said before, new ships are cool, but uh, we're kind of uh, reaching the saturation point now. So if you played World of Warships Blitz on mobile, you'll know that the upgrade mechanics in that game are far more intricate than they are in Legends. And uh, I really, I think it's a shame that Legends is so dumbed down. Um, it uh, it really needs more depth and more uh, more exotic builds possible to be made, um, really. And uh, it needs more grind, basically. Another option could be. The, um, like the ability to actually uh, improve the the upgrades, um, no, the consumables, sorry, on ships. So for example, Sonar, uh, if you grind enough, you'll be able to uh, pop five points into your Sonar consumable and you can choose how to spend them. For example, if you want to, to max the range completely, you can put all five points into range or you can kind of like spread them out so this way it would take out some of the predictability in battles uh, where you always know exactly what someone's sonar range is but uh, this way like you would never know uh, if someone has five kilometer sonar or six kilometer sonar so uh, it adds a layer of unpredictability that i think the game needs really um, sooner th rather than later and of course again the grind for these five points here would be uh, like brutal like something that would take months if not years to complete so uh, if we stick with the idea of uh, you know having uh, access to upgrades of different uh, rarity basically so instead of just having one torpedo upgrade here you have for example six of uh, like varying uh, rarity and of course the stats will be different for each but like i said before not a lot so for example, uh, the speed would be an extra knot per um, upgrade level you go up. So the maximum would be another six uh, knots of speed. Um, and of course, like I said before, the grind for this will be absolutely brutal. Um, we're talking like massive amounts of global XP and uh, lots of steel, perhaps even doubloons and uh, you know, like a minimum amount of battles played and stuff like that. Um, so uh, it, it would take dedication. So, for example, when you take your Atago out, instead of just having um, like a gray upgrade in each slot, uh, you would have different colors depending on how much you have grinded each upgrade. Uh, so very, very similar to uh, equipping your character in Diablo with uh, like rare or legendary weapons, really. Um, and I, I think it would work wonders for the game, to be honest. Wargaming could also go a different route, and uh, instead of just having like in Atago's uh, case here, just one um, 
extra slot for upgrades. Um, for example, Wargaming could add two, three, four extra slots, and of course, also expand the like selection of upgrades available. We want many, many more, um, and some of them like locked behind uh, steel, doubloons, global XP, whatever. And you could even have uh, unique, uh, absolutely like uber legendary uh, upgrades available as um, like prizes in the ranked battles or uh, arena or something like that. I bet you that would make uh, a lot more players uh, actually play those uh, tournaments there. And uh, of course, uh, you wouldn't have all slots available from the beginning. Some of them would be locked uh, depending on yeah, whatever, like your level or your amount of battles played or whatever. It could be a million things. So lastly, we could also just stick with uh, the commanders, grinding the commanders even more. So for example, if you already have tenant 16.4 like I do, uh, you could potentially pay 10,000 steel, 10 million commander XP, 2 million global XP to upgrade his base trait to the blue rarity uh, and that will like uh, upgrade his uh, his base trait by one percent so again nothing large but enough to like, make it worthwhile and then you'll be able to do that again and then get, get the green variant of course but that will be even more expensive um, and so on and so forth another option would be to pick one of the perks on your commander and make that perk an elite perk uh, it doesn't really matter which perk and it, it will be up to you to choose and uh, by making a perk elite it would also uh, increase in um, whatever skill it gives you for example uh, maximum movement here from five to ten percent and i know that's a big jump it shouldn't be that it should be five to six percent for example um, and of course uh, being being able to uh, to make a skill elite will require like i said before massive massive grinding uh, because this is something for the dedicated players the players who are running out of things to grind for and are starting to be disillusioned by new ships uh, that really don't offer that much new stuff in the game uh, there needs to be something else uh, to keep players occupied and uh, like if uh, world of warship splits can pull it off surely legends can do it too and I think if possible Legends should uh, make the grind even longer than uh, Blitz does. I think it will work out fine for the game because mo most people who play this game here, they enjoy the grind. Otherwise you would not be sticking around for long, <laughs> that's for sure. So uh, make the most of it Wargaming, like put some more grind in the game and let us, um, let us spend time and effort on uh, upgrading pretty much anything that can be upgraded in the game. So uh, these are some of the ideas that I could come up with. But uh, if you have any others, please let me know in the comments. And um, like, I really, really hope that Wargaming takes this to heart and uh, at least considers it a little bit. Uh, because like I said before, I am starting to uh, run out of things to grind for in this game here. And uh, I think this would help. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you out there.